All right, y'all. Now let's peel this back and see what we got. All right, now let me show you this real fast. What up, baby? Welcome to Jazz and Marty. I'm Marty, and I know you saw the thumbnail, I know you saw the title. Today, we are trying our hands at making a custom doormat. And not just any doormat, this doormat. Now, I was scrolling through socials, and I came across this, and I was like, you know what? I could probably make that thing. So, uh, after doing a little bit of digging, I found out that it's actually made by a company by the name of Drought. I'll leave a link to their, uh, their store in the description box down below. They do limited edition drops, like... They drop it once, and once it's gone, it's gone. Now this dropped on the 24th. Uh, people were paying about like 54 bucks. Also, 108 dollars in shipping. So you know what? Let's make a copycat version of that, and not pay nearly as much. Maybe about like 35 bucks or so. Okay. Now, uh, before we get into today's video, you subscribe. I know you subscribe, baby. I know you subscribe. But if you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and a little notify bell next to it. Also consider hitting that like button and um, it helps out the channel a whole, whole lot and it's super duper free, all right? Now without any further ado, let's hop into this thing. So, here's what you need. All right, y'all, so the first thing you're gonna need is an outdoor mat, okay? I picked mine up from Walmart. Ran me about five bucks. You're also going to need a large can of Flex Seal that ran me about fifteen bucks. Uh, you're going to need a you're going to need freezer paper. You're going to need um, a paint brush, and you're also going to need black acrylic paint. Okay. You're also going to need a Cricut machine and a computer. The optional things that you may need are push pens. Um, now everything that I purchased and the files you need to make this product, I mean this project, I'll leave that in the description box down below. I also use two different fonts for this design. I'll leave a little notation right here of what fonts I use, just in case anybody was wondering, all right? Now that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing started, baby. All right, y'all, so the first thing you wanna do is grab your design. So uh, I already pre-made this design here in Illustrator. Um, now I'll leave all of the files that you need in order to make this design in a link down below. Now I can't really go into a in-depth tutorial on how I got from A to B. This thing will be 25, 40 minutes long. But like I said, I'll leave everything down in a link down below where you can download the file specifically to make this map. All right, now once you download your files, you wanna uh, upload them into Cricut Design Space. All right, now once they're in the process of being uploaded, you'll come to a screen here, uh, where is the background remover. Now basically all of the files have a black backing on them and all of the letters are black. What you wanna do is you just wanna remove all of the black parts of your design. So basically all you do is you take this cursor here, move over it and you left click it and bow, it's gone. You're gonna do that for all your designs that you're uploading to your canvas. All right, and once you remove all of the black from your design, you should have something that looks like this. You wanna hit cut image and you wanna head over here and upload. All right, now once your design is, or your file is on your canvas, you wanna scale it to the size that we need it for our mat. Now, I'll insert a picture right here with all the dimensions for each file that you need to make uh, for your mat. Now, how do you scale it down, you say? You wanna head over here to where it says size. All right, now this is supposed to be 11 inches by three inches. So what I'll do is I'll make this 11 inches and then press enter and then scale that bad boy down. Now you wanna scale all of your files for the dimensions that I showed you on that picture and uh, let's show you that real fast. All right, and once you finish scaling down your uh, files, should have something that looks like this. When it looks like this, you wanna head over to your top right corner and you wanna click make it. All right, next you wanna grab your extra long mat and you wanna take your freezer paper and you wanna put it shiny side down onto your mat. 
when you finish you should have something that looks like this all right and once you click make it you should come to a screen like this where all of your files are lined up on your mat like so next you want to hit continue all right next you'll come to a page that look like this make sure that your Cricut dial is turned to paper all right your dial should be on this paper setting here once it's like that you just want to click this flash an arrow here and now you can kick that cricket button two seconds later all right now once it's finished cutting you want to take your picker and you want to start weeding the negative space out all right and when you have everything lined up you should have something that looks like this all right now let's go warm our iron up all right, and once your iron is warmed up, you want to take it and you want to run it over your uh, freezer paper and your design. This is going to help it stick to your mat. All right, now once everything is laid down to your liking, now we can hit it with our flex seal. All right, now once everything's finished, we gotta let this thing dry. The next day. All right, y'all, now let's peel this back. See what we got. Y'all, look at this. Look how clean this thing looks. Like, I can't believe how good this looks like. When they said that this thing doesn't have any overspray, this Flex Seal has no overspray. Like, I am shocked at how clean these lines are and how everything just looks crisp and clean. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to take my uh, black acrylic paint and my paintbrush. And I'm going to just start filling some of these spaces up that uh, the stencil left. And the easiest way to do this is to just kind of dab it on there and it'll fill it right in. See that? Just dab that thing on it. All right, y'all. Now, here is the final product. I am blown away at how this thing turned out, how clean these, how clean these lines look, how everything just look nice and neat. This uh, Flex Seal had zero overspray and I'm very satisfied how this thing turned out. Now, if you plan on making this project or something similar, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, now, uh, if you like this video, please consider hitting that like and that share button. Head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page where we're always posting updates on DIY and craft videos. And we're not just on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, we also on TikTok, we're everywhere y'all, you just gotta look for us. We also have a podcast out right now, it's called The Funny Acting Podcast, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. We also have a children's book, leave that down below, alright? And like that, this will be the end. Peace.